All right, I want you guys to go uh, support Piston Mike. Y'all go to the subscribe button. He at 480 right now. Let's get him to 1,000, 100,000, 500,000, million subscribers as soon as possible, Ben. Let's help him put it down. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. If you like the Pistons, you want to support me, think about sending me a donation. The uh, best way you can help me right now is go subscribe over to Piston Mike and go uh, help him get his numbers up, putting in work, hard work, smart work, dedicated work, consistent work. So make sure you go over there and appreciate that work. So remember, the name is Piston Mike, and I have a link in the description. If you have a problem uh, finding it on YouTube, it'll be under source link or Piston Mike channel link in the description. Peace. All right, man, let's talk about the best. This is on my screen. Best available safeties and should the Lions indulge and sign them with some of the best available safeties out there. But first, we got to talk about what is the type of safety that they need. Now, with Tracy Walker, he was known, I think he was like a corner in college too, converted safety maybe at this time in University of Louisiana or Lafayette or whatever. They signed him back. But he's been more of a box safety. He's been more um, of a tackler. Right. And they got him back on a good deal, eight million dollars, around eight million dollars a year. But he's been known as a box safety. You know, he came in, uh, used to play some corner out there in you think Louis University of Louisiana Lafayette. And, you know, so far he's been a better box safety. Right. Um, now he hasn't made those critical errors in coverage like uh Will Harris has. Most of the plays that, you know, the big plays down the line. It's been Will Harris giving up uh, big plays in the Baltimore game, and he's just been terrible, you know. But you look at him, but he ain't like really the ball hawk, you know what I'm saying? And he been more of just he been more of a strong safety, you know what I'm saying? You know, you look, you know, past, you know, you look at what he done past def defended, all in the single digits. We can compare him to somebody else. I don't know. Let's compare him to uh, Marcus Williams. He's, yeah, he's the dude that we a lot of people wanted to come to Detroit, but um, he chose Baltimore. But do me a favor, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you like what you hear, and the subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, Chris Chance and notifications. So, yeah, it's right along with what, what Marcus Williams has been doing. Um, he got a lot of tackles, you know, uh, 8, 7, 13 pass, uh, passes defended by, you know. Um, I mean, hold on. Let's see if we can see what. Kyran been doing. You know, he played more of a nickel than they do, though. So you look right around the same thing. He's high as the 17. So I just think I, I just think Walker should I think Walker should be more active in coverage. You know what I'm saying? I thought he I thought he'd be more of a coverage guy, but you know, he's really decent. He's really good in coverage, but he's better in the box. Look at his tackles 103, 108 combined tackle 74. You compare him to Marcus Williams. He's a better, he better, he got better combi combination tackles than Marcus Williams. Tyron Matthew, he got better combination tackles than them and better solo tackles than them most years. So I'll just let you know, yeah, he's really one of them dudes that be in the box and he got a couple sacks in there. And like I said, he can cover people one-on-one -on, -one on the island, on the inside, you know what I'm saying? So just like to see him take that bump up in, 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 in coverage, you know, and, you know, Making more players on the ball, getting more picks, and that's why we talked about CJ sign. Uh, was it sign? Lewis sign. I'm gonna keep on CJ. Lewis sign uh, yesterday in Georgia. Like, can he really fit with with Tracy Walker? And he has the speed, but in coverage, you know, he just don't take the ball away enough in coverage. You know what I'm saying? So you, you know, and also he's small at 6'2", 199. By physical he play, you know, most people predict that he might have a ball, a Bob uh, Sanders type of demise. Just so reckless, his body ain't gonna be able to hold up in the box. So, you know, when you talking about taking sign, if you didn't see my spotlight on sign last night, it really is really gonna boil down. It re it really is gonna boil down to whoever take him. You know, maybe not throwing him in the fire right away. Maybe not even throwing him on special teams. He got a lot of value on special teams. But I think it, it may boil down to making forcing him to master coverage, single high, split spl uh, split split safeties to cover two. Look, you know, playing a deep half, robbing, covering in the nickel a little bit more. I think it. I think it may boil down. I think it. I think it may boil down to giving him to master him in coverage and really pacing him on what you, how you put him in the box. You think about it. We already got somebody that 
we already got somebody that 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 played the box. You know what I'm saying? We already got somebody that played the box. And when you're talking about uh Tracy Walker, he's good in the box, unless you're just gonna say, Walker, we're gonna just need you, you know, we're gonna just need you more. Um we gonna need you more in we gonna need you more in uh We're going to need you more in coverage. We're going to let Sign play the box. But letting Sign play the box, he's so physical that, you know, he may not. He might have Ernie Smith, Ernie Smith demise, Louis Delmas demise. That's kind of, you know, uh, probably, probably who, you, who, who he reminded you of. So, like I said, you know, the ideal guy, the ideal guy probably for the, for the Lions is somebody who's better in coverage a la you know, uh, a la uh, um, Daxton Hill. That's probably kind of what you're looking at. Now, you like to have somebody that can do both like Kyle Hamilton? Absolutely. But I think a lot of people, uh, I think a lot of people have a tough, uh, I think a lot of people have a tough time, you know, coming to grips with taking the safety that high or moving back into that five range and taking them that high. You know, especially when Daxton Hill, you know, uh, ran what he ran, and he'd be pretty much a perfect fit for what they do. The question is, can you move up to get him or he fall to you? The question. You know, but really they looking for somebody out. They looking for somebody in there. That, that they go with Walker. Walker is good in covers, but he's better in the box right now. So you look for somebody that's more better in covers. Now, the safeties are interchangeable now, so they're really not going strong. They're not really going uh, uh, free. You got to be able to do everything. But you know, you you always can go back to tradition. You know what I'm saying? You always can go back to tradition and do how they did. But Walker gives you versatility. He can cover, but you don't want to take him out the box. And and that's what he do well is he dominate the box. You don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to take that man out the box, and that's what he do better. You want to get somebody that compliment him on the back end. Somebody that compliment him on the back end and can cover more. And Daxton Hill, can he do pretty good work in the box. And you look at some of the guys um, that's available. You know, I don't know much about Terrell Edmonds. I know his brother's a really good linebacker. And uh, I know his brother's a really good linebacker at Buffalo, really athletic. So I don't know much about him, but um, more he got some tackles, got some sacks. Like he more of a uh, box safety, got some picks in his career. So I don't know much about him. So um, if you look at some of the Jabril Preppers, a lot of people is going to like Jabril Preppers. I mean, local guy, he's about to be 27, still fairly, fairly young. Um, started off in, you know, Cleveland and, you know, now you restricted, you know, you look at, uh, statistics, 25 years in the league, then he had an injury too. You look at what he done, you know, a lot of tackles, he got some forced fumbles in there, got some, never had double digit picks, you know, he was a very good athlete coming out. I'm not sure where he at, but it's, Last year here, he had 10 assisted tackles. So he only played six games last year, so he's coming off an injury. So I don't know what his injury uh, his injury was. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can find what his injury was. He had a lot of hype coming to Michigan, kind of like Daxton Hill. Um, see what his uh, injury is. So you know, injuries are he ruptured his ACL. He said he's dealing with a rupture to his ACL and a high ankle sprain. So yeah, he ruptured his ACL. So I mean, if you take a if you take a chance on him, you're gonna have to be patient. So you're already dealing with a guy, a corner who did, ruptured his, his Achilles, and you're dealing with a defensive end who ruptured his Achilles. The value would have to be there. Um, he did this in October, so he should be able to do some work right now. Right now, so no, nah, that's a risk. I mean, you got to take risks. See where he at, it's a risk. So if you do sign him, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's still young. He still can bounce back. You know, you put him back there and see what you got. Do you stop you from drafting a guy you really like? Absolutely not. You got Keanu Neal. He more of a box safety. 
Daniel Sorensen, he got cooked all last year while we looked that way in Kansas City. Um, oh, Jakiski Tart, the dude who dropped the pick that could have sent the 49ers to the Super Bowl. Andrew Sadejo, oh, Dean Marlowe, Jeff Heath, he a local guy, box guy. Dean Marlowe, he had him last year. So that was kind of some of them, some of the dudes. Jesse Bates, I believe he he signed a, a franchise the tag, I believe. I think Cincinnati tagged him. Yeah, let me let me double check that. Let me check that. I thought they tagged him or signed him to a deal. Uh Bang, Bengals placed a franchise tag on safety Jesse Bates. So yeah, he got the tag on him. Uh so that don't even matter. So, you know, it's maybe Terrell Edmonds, maybe Peppers. Don't know much about Edmonds. Landon Collins is, is, is a uh, – he, he's, a, he's, he's a box guy. He was the guy who his mom was disappointed at the uh, All-American Army game when he committed to Alabama instead of LSU. That's him. He's a box guy. You know, he ain't really much in coverage. I mean, uh, remember he came over from the Giants. When, you know, there was rumors about Patricia going over there and saying he wouldn't play with Patricia, but – you look, you know, a lot of tackles played 13 games last year, coming off injury like from 2020, 29. He got some interceptions in there at five in New York. So maybe he can do a little bit of everything. What is he, 28 years old? He just turned 28 not too long ago, less than 90 days ago. Maybe you could look at Landon Collins. You know what I'm saying? Um, he can drop the hammer too. So he's still out there. Um, you know, Kareem Jackson, correct corner to safety. Um but I don't think he's older. I think he probably would have been a part of a championship with a team. Don't be surprised he go back to Denver on the on a team friendly deal. Tyron Matthew, 20, 29. His price dropping every day. So uh whatever reason, you know, Kansas City, you know, they went with another safety. Uh played 16 games, been fairly healthy throughout his career. So having some trouble with LSU. He's been a model citizen. Played 89% of the snaps, 76 tackles, 60 solo. We know he can cover. Take the ball away a lot. He brings championship pedigree. But the question is, do you want to spend that money? You know, if you're the Lions, do you want to spend that money? That's the million dollar question. Do you want to spend that bag? Now, like I said before, you got to pay a minor Rari. I don't know why I thought his contract was up this year. Maybe because the season crept into 2022. Um, that's the question. Do you want to pay him? There's a premier talent sitting out there. They, they missed out. They missed out on Miles Jack, which I don't understand why they just ain't take Miles Jack. Uh, he got a two-year, sixteen million dollar deal. That would have been filled the middle. So they must like somebody in the draft. In the draft, you can't fill it. Can't fill all your needs in the draft right away. So you got to remember that you can't fill all your needs in the draft right away. So, um, you know, so that's something that we got to remember. But, um. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad if they took a chance at Matthew, but like I said, he fit because he can cover. He can do everything in the box. Is he a little bit undersized? Yeah, but he gave you a veteran in the back end. I, wanted, on, I think it was the youngest team last year. You know what I'm saying? So that's something you got to look at too. So a little undersized, still young, you know, bring a good cautionary tale to the story, bring good veteran leadership. Good championship pedigree there, man. And you bring an attitude. Him and Walker go nice together. You know, they go nice together. Um, that's something to think about. But, um, but yeah, if I did, if you know, if I did, you know, pick off the My bad. If I did pick off this tree, if you ask me, um, hold on, let me stop both. My bad. But if I did pick off this tree, it probably would be the honey. I don't know. The honey badger would be one of the guys that I know of to pick off this tree. I mean, uh, would I want to take a shot on uh, Jabril Peppers? Uh, possibly. Uh, Landon Collins, possibly. That's a good deal. So, Maybe Edmonds, Peppers, uh, uh, Landon Collins, Tyron Matthew. I would 
take a shot. Now, going into the draft, I haven't really looked at all the safeties, you know, but if you're able to get one of these dudes at safety, right, and obviously you got to project the cap and you got to make it work, you know, uh, still down the line, you still should, you know, if you got a guy you really like, even should take him. That's the highest on your board. But, I mean, if they can find a way to get Daxton Hill, that'll get them really good athletics. That's the perfect fit, Daxton Hill. Perfect fit. And they said he even he got enough athleticism, or Kyle Hamilton, obviously, to, to, to even be a corner. So, yeah, but if you ever knock one of them out of there, then you look, you know, you, you get the safety position set back. Now, when you go 32 and you go a few picks later, a couple picks later, now you're looking at probably still filling receiver. You're probably still looking at middle linebacker. And then you're probably still looking at safety if you don't take a safety up ahead. You know, people say we're still looking at quarterback. Hey, okay. So that's what you pretty much should be looking at. You're able to, you're able to get Miles Jack maybe at 26 years old. Hey, man, I ain't going to worry about linebacker no more. So, but, um, you know, either way, it's a good deal. I mean, if you go, you know, safety is cheaper. But with, with, with that Lewis Sign kid, you got to teach him to cover first. So before he hurt himself. So if you take, if you somehow get Daxton Hill, that's slam dunk. But I wouldn't mind either way, you know, or even a combination of both. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. I think to, out of this list, Tyron, Honey Bath, and Matthew was the perfect fit. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next to the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. Go live and drop a video. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Um, Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you want to reach out, video requests, business question, choir response, whatever it may be. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what's in the conversation. Check the trade line. Stop playing us more videos. Like